I might actually get my bucket shot tonight. Uh, I am currently in the Yorkshire Dales uh, on a very clear night. I don't know if you can see the sun setting over there. I am at Ribblehead Valley uh, Viaduct. Well, I'm not actually at the viaduct yet. I'm walking down there now. At least, I think I'm heading in the right direction. We'll know soon enough. Um, so basically, this this shot that I'm hoping to get tonight is one that I've been planning in to try and get for well over a year now. Unfortunately, it's quite a specific shot that I'm going for. So, don't know why I'm shining that at like it's going to make a difference. Uh, that is the viaduct behind me, um, which runs north to south, pretty much. And according to Stellarium, is it Stellarium? You know the website that shows you how all the night sky is going to look? Well, according to that, the Milky Way is somewhere over there. So my uh, hope is to have a shot where I'm near the bottom of the viaduct kind of looking down it if you like with a widish angle lens so the viaduct will essentially become like a leading line from the very right side of the frame kind of taking up a chunk of the right side of the frame disappearing off into the distance with the milky way coming up at the end of the viaduct that's the hope but there's a few potential issues we're trying to get this shot first and foremost is the fact that I want to try and get the Milky Way core, which restricts me to, from what I've read online at least, because I'm not really, I've never really photographed the Milky Way core before. I've photographed the Milky Way, never managed to get the main core. And I believe that's because I've been generally doing my night sky photography in winter, but actually the core is over the UK in the middle of summer, like right about now. And obviously summer nights are shorter nights. So, We've pretty much just had the summer solstice, so like the longest day of the year, and here I am trying to capture the night sky like a frigging genius. Now, arguably, I could have waited until a bit later in the year to try and get this shot, like another month or so, the nights would gradually get longer. But I want the, the core to be in the south over there. But from what I've seen on Stellarium, come like this time next month, the core is going to be running in a completely different direction, so it wouldn't work. Also, I've then had to factor in the moon. I ideally wanted as little as moon as possible, which happens to have been about two days ago, was new moon. Tonight is about 3% illuminance, but it's somewhere over behind them hills anyway, so hopefully it shouldn't even bother me at all. And then the biggest factor of all, the weather. You need a clear night to see the Milky Way, and this is the UK. We don't know what clear nights are, and much clear days either. In fact, I was actually down here two nights ago because the Met Office said it should be patchy cloud. And obviously patchy cloud is a bit ambiguous. What it was was actually not remotely close to patchy. In fact, it was closer to fog. It was thick, I couldn't see a damn thing. So that was like a four hour round trip for nothing. Two days later, here I am back again because the Met Office said it was going to be clear skies and it looks like, I don't know if you can see that, but there's definitely stars visible. The only thing I haven't worked out yet is whether I can see the Milky Way because to be fair, it's still quite light over there. The uh, I think the, I think the sky is probably going to get about as dark as it will get somewhere around about between 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock and it's about 20 to 12 so I guess I have a little bit of time to set up and then a little bit of waiting around to go Status update, it's about quarter past 12 now, so sky's still continuing to get dark, although there's a little bit of a way to go yet. I think I've worked out, what, uh, I think I've found a location for a good composition, so 
There's a load of rocks on the floor down here, and then the viaduct is literally just here. It's only about 50 feet away from me just over there, but then it, it kind of disappears, tapers off on into the distance. So I'm thinking of having these rocks in the very bottom left of the foreground, the viaduct on the right of the foreground disappearing off, and then hopefully at some point soon, I'm gonna see at least some usable stars, but it does look a little cloudy on the horizon. So this might not work. Fingers crossed. Okay, okay, sit rep. I've kind of got something. It's just not quite what I, I was hoping for, I don't think. Um, it's a little hard to gauge on the back of the camera. I've got to have a bit of a play around with it. But what I was really hoping to get was like the, the main core of the Milky Way kind of rising up from uh, behind the viaduct. And it's not there. There is clear there is what looks like a, a bit of the milky way there's definitely a definitive strip of the milky way but it's not the main core of the milky way which is really what i was hoping to try and get um so i've had a bit i've been having a bit of a play around with uh you know different shots uh putting me like kind of sitting on a rock and stuff i'm certainly hoping there's something at least half decent in there unfortunately i think that what i had in my head what i envisaged it was going to be isn't quite the case and I'm not entirely sure if it will ever be the case, at least, at least not here. Um, the, the it, I think I could have sworn that the websites, the sky trackers that I'd been looking at, said the Milky Way core would be over there, and it, it is somewhere over there. It's just not high up, as high up in the sky as I thought it was going to be. And I suspect that's probably because I've not factored in that it said it was going to be just above sea level. I'm in the Yorkshire Dales, which is quite elevated, and there's a friggin' big viaduct in my way. So I'm actually looking at the sky quite a few degrees up from, uh, from sea level. You know, maybe it's, I don't know, maybe I'm a few nights off, a week off or something like that, that the core will be that little bit higher in the sky right and about now. It's just not the case tonight. Or maybe I've already missed it, I don't know. Um, so maybe it's a job for another year. Who knows? Um, but I think I'm probably gonna wrap it up. In case you're wondering about the lights, by the way, um, Loom Cube light panel lying on the floor over there. Bowling P1 lying over behind those rocks over there. Um, I put uh, Partly I was using them for illuminating me in the photos. Um, and obviously now, but the main reason is to distract the in midges because there's thousands of them and they keep coming towards the light. So every time my camera screen goes on, I'm getting swamped by midges. So I put the lights either side of me to try and shut them up. Um, so yeah, it's now like quarter past one in the morning. I have to uh, collect all the gear, pack everything up and walk back to the car which is somewhere over there way off in the distance and then i've got about a two hour drive to get back home so yeah like 4 a.m bedtime for me uh but hey ho guys what can what can i say uh unfortunately shot hasn't planned out how i'd, I'd hoped maybe the shot just physically is impossible in this location maybe it is and it's just the wrong time I really thought it would be tonight, the way everything just lined up, the fact that I had the really clear night, that, you know, I thought the, the Milky Way was in the right sort of place, and a new moon as well. I guess it was all too good to be true. Hey-ho, it just seems, it just goes to show that, you know, even with the 
best-ish sort of half planning, things don't always turn out how you plan. And sometimes you just have to go back to the drawing board and try again. So I will, you know, endeavor to see if there is going to be a time of the year where I can try and get this shot. And maybe I come back another time and try and get it again. Or I find a different viaduct that it would work at. Who knows? But as always guys, if you have any questions or queries, the comment box is down below. While you're down there, if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by and hopefully I will see you in the next video.